and amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Tunaweza tukaketi. Sometimes ni vizuri and most of the time ni vizuri kuonyesha shetani ya kwamba hata wewe unajua Mungu wako vizuri. Bwana Yesu hapa utukufu. It is by these things that I am teaching you kumwabudu, kumsifu that God works behind the scenes. Hallelujah. One time <coughs> A certain uh, manager was so, so, so much against me. And uh, Nikawa ni mekasirika yosiku uh, because he was really mad. Hmm? Na Nikawa ni mekasirika yosiku ni kachukua uh, jerikan. Hallelujah. Na muiko. Hmm? Nikasifu mungu. Hmm? Like what is this? Na kwa sababu he had told me <coughs> Uh, lazima tutaona ni nani yako na nguvu kuyule, kuliko yule mwingine na nikasifu Mungu do you know the next day he was transferred via a telephone call hallelujah bwana yesu hapo tukufu Mungu anapiganiaga watu wake as long as anaona motive yako na anaona hakuna mahali pengine umeweka macho yako you know to blessed be the name of the lord I have seen God fight for me many times. Huh? One time we were given some letters. Hmm? Na hizo barua <coughs> zilikuwa za disciplinary explain I have mimi sikuwahi ada perform I used to perform bwana Yesu apa utukufu. Na siwezi nikatoka nikatoka huko kwa 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 nini um, uh, ma, marketplace Nikuje hapa kanisani kuada perform. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We must perform. Hallelujah. And so, there came this time that uh, <laughs> one of the HR director tukapewa mabarua, tukambiwa sijui to explain. Mi nilikuwa nashidwa nina explain nini. Sababu my case ilikuwa inaonekana vizuri. And uh, mimi nikaingia kwa maombi nikaambia Mungu Mungu unanijua na nina taithingi kwa hii pesa ninapata hapa. The Bible reminds us eh ya kwamba when you tithe he rebukes the devourer. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Nikamwambia Mungu hii nimemenyi. Sasa zingine ni vizuri kuketi chini na Mungu kuongea na yeye. And to 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 make the story short the very morning that I was to go for those things, and most of the guys when you the end of hour was sacked that day. The very morning that uh, I was to go, so that I be interrogated and nisukume nyumbani because I was ready anyway, and I there reaches a point where by the call is bigger than your work. Hallelujah. Bana Yesu kufu. Now that very morning. The very director who was to, to sit me down and sack me was sacked before he reached to me. God works behind the scenes. The Lord can work behind the scene. Where I you are warning, I told you, do not mistake the silence of God with the absence of work. Even in silence, the Lord is at work. Even at this time of Corona. Mana Yesu hapa utukufu. Hallelujah. Na asubui tukaendelea kusoma Esther 5. Uh, tuka, tuka soma mambo mengi. Uh, Tukaambia mungu hata tupatie wisdom. Na ningependa tuendelea hapo from 6. Uh, na staki kusoma sababu utajisomea juu ya wakati. But there are a few things that I would want you to see. In this uh, six is the night that uh, is, is the morning that Mordecai was honored. And we said Mordecai was a gate man. And a gate man in the language of prayer is an intercessor. Hallelujah. And look here. As we took a sema Haman interpreted it wrongly. Kuona ya kwamba ameitua 
na esta wakule you know, na wakunywe na mfalme akafikiria kama nimeinuliwa na mfalme na mke wake pia nimepata kibali ni nini siwezi nikafanya but hakuwa akijua ya kwamba Esther had the wisdom to deal with the enemy haleluya na nikaambia watu never at any time tilipishia kizazi vigilance is the lords haleluya nikakwambia wale tulikuwa na wao asubuhi ya kwamba when dealing with the enemy do not attack the enemy direct do not attack the person attack the one who is in him do the person is good kila kikondani ndicho kibaya na kwa hivyo Esther akapewa wisdom na Mungu ya kuto attack Haman directly because nilisema as the first lady angeweza kusema huyo mtu aende akauliwe mbali na naende auliwe we have seen in this nation whereby wakuu wa security wale ambao wanaweza sema huyo mtu anasumbua serikali death inawapata wote pamoja wawili mkubwa na mdogo have you ever seen it? you have seen it in this nation blessed be the name of the lord the lord can do anything and so as i had the power but she knows the way to a man's heart is through service so she needed to serve the king first sio kumpatia mashida yake alijua ili niweze kupenetrate to the heart of the king i will minister to him and she prepared a banquet and not only one day two times and here she is now the third time ah uh, mfalme amekosa usingizi eh? when the lord is working behind the scenes na anasema hebu nisomewe blessed be the name of the lord na anaposomewa anasikia kuna mahali Mordecai alimwambia ya kwamba he was to be assassinated by his private guards wale wanakalisha his innermost private door kwa hivyo the king would not have escaped Mordecai akiwa kwa the gates anasikia yale mambo ambayo yanapangwa wapendwa niliwaambia when you allow yourself to be a person at the gate kuna mambo ambayo yatapangwa na mwovu shetani na utaweza kudiru nayo katika jina la Yesu Kristo wakati magonjwa yanapangwa unayaona hata kwa ndoto na unayangoa katika jina la Yesu Kristo being at the gates haleluya the lord works behind this and Mordecai mfalme anafikiria sababu jana tulikunywa kwa kwa, kwa uh, Haman anafikiria sababu jana tulikunywa kwa mfalme na sasa mfalme anauliza yule mtu ambaye mfalme anataka kuhona anafanyao wa nini na yeye anajua sasa wakati umefika nitakalia farasi ya mfalme nani kama mimi haleluya nitakalia you know nitavalishwa mavazi ya mfalme Bana Yesu apa utukufu. Eh? Haman alikaa kama one gospel singer ambaye sijui kama yuko bado ambaye alienda aka, akaimbia uh, our president akasahau na sovereignty ya president akakalia kiti ya president. <laughs> eh? Na ikaleta shida sana kwa protocol ya mfalme. Bana Yesu apa utukufu. Hama nalijua wakati sasa ndio huu it was a well orchestrated thing the lord was orchestrating things behind the scene na anaambiwa hayo yote umesema haraka kwa modekai there are few things that i would want you to note this afternoon number one. whatever that made you to be who you are right now never forsake it ikiwa kile uko nacho ulipata kwa sababu ya maombi 
usiwai kosa kuomba it can only be sustained by prayer because modekai even after kuzungushwa akiambiwa huyu ndiye mfalme anapenda amevalishwa manguo za ufalme na tena anabebwa na ile farasi imagine ukiwa umebebwa na ile gari ya president ana ndo gatwaro kula hivi aha thoko eh atumia thoko bela umirai tokeni wa mama wa soko muone yule mtu ambaye president ameona siku ya leo amebebewa kwa kiti yake hmm? unaweza sema hata uta change hizo nguo kitu siku kama tatu ndio watu waweze kukujua vizuri ni wewe hata ukipita hivyo unasema ni mradi kana hata kama una walk eh no mradi dirikana ni ndira kuwetu eh na just in case umetoka kiamwadhi una, unaambiliwa vizuri hemu the nyatu wako wetu ni mu ni ni, ni mune na wafuruli bwana yesu ape utukufu but modekai knew these things ni kwa maombi angalia modekai anavaa magunia anaenda kwa esther na anarudi kwa gate it tells you alikuwa na a revelation ya kwamba chochote alicho nacho ni kwa maombi and even after amevalishwa hizo mavazi after kutoka chini from the horse ya mfalme he went back to the gate as Haman went to cry to his wife Zeresh wapendwa sijui ni nini huwa inatushika wakati uko chini unamuliria bwana unatoa makamasi ukiinuliwa unaanza kuangalia watu hivi hmm? kuna wakati nilikuwa ninavaa aspects kwa kwa ofisi na wakati ninakufukuza nilikuwa naziangusha zinakuja hapa na kuangalia sasa hivi hmm? ya kukwambia dira dada tosi yako umelia maana Yesu hapa utukufu whatever that made you to be who you are you must not depart from it exposure did not change Mordecai he has been exposed to the royal things hata anabebwa na gari ya mfalme but that does not change him wapendwa lazima tujue we should not be changed by the possessions but should be changed by the owner of the possessions our hearts should yearn to know the owner more hallelujah and this is god hmm ana yesu ape utukufu hmm ukipata toyota corolla eh? na labda hiyo toyota corolla asubuhi lazima isukumwe ndio ndio <clears throat> igurume you engage like half of the people wa area yako eh ndio igurume Eh? Saa hiyo ikianza kukwenda eh? unaenda kan, kama umewekelea mkono nje watu waone ya kwamba uko na Toyota Corolla. Je, sasa Mungu akikubariki na Mercedes Benz ya duka si utatoa miguu ama kutakuwa aje? Bwana Yesu apo utukufu. It is good. These things that we are teaching you. You know injiri ilikuwa iliharibiwa na utabarikiwa dio, utainuliwa dio. Alafu wewe ndio ukiinuliwa unaona mtu anaangalia watu vibaya tu because hawajajua gharama, hawajafundishwa hawaja even the character of the kingdom. Hmm? You know we should we are created in the image of God. And one character of our God is is unchanging. So you should be not be changed by new by a God of a tattoo. In fact, unafaa unyenyekee zaidi. Bwana Yesu apa utukufu. Mordecai was not changed by the exposure. Eh? Bwana Yesu apa utukufu.
Exposure ni kitu mbaya sana. Ina exchange ki watu. I have seen people ambao tulikuwa tuna hustle na wao. Hmm? Mtu anaye anakuwa exposed. Mwingine hata ukijua kile alikuwa alikuwa anauza kwa mali mali chini. Eh? Mungu, mungu anakuja anamuinua ana anapata eh? nduka ya nguo kubwa inakuwa kubwa. Hata kuongea ile lugha ya nyumbani ina change. Anakuwa muhaha. Haleluya. Badala ya muhaba ukienda kuongea na yeye kikwetu unasikia ali switch kitambo huyo sijui kama ni wanyeri ama ni wamuranga but hamuko ligi moja na anataka kukuonyesha my friend we are not in the same league na ni mtu mmeomba na yeye wapendwa we should not be changed by things exposure should not change us in fact unafaa unyenyekee na uvute wale wengine mweze kwenda pamoja bana yesu apa utukufu hmm? mordecai was humble he went back to the gates hmm? bana yesu apa utukufu battles zitakuwa mingi katika maisha and that is why tutaambiwa tumeshinda but utaishinda aje Macho yako umeyaweka wapi? There is no way you can involve God kwa jambo ambalo tayari ulilianza uko katikati unaona unafika mwisho ndio unaambia Bwana ingilia hapana The Lord is after kama unataka nikupiganie lazima tuanze pamoja na wewe Na Yesu apa utukufu We must that's together hallelujah we must know mungu wetu sio wakando ni wa hapo katikati tuperekane na yeye katika jina la Yesu Kristo bwana Yesu apa utukufu na tukaona because haman was an amalekite uh, from you know anagagite from the tribe of amalek battles the amalekite you engage them more spiritually and that is why Esther had to go for 3 days to fast then go and meet the king ana yesu apa utukufu eh there are few things that i would want you to know when you are dealing with the witches because here kulikuwa na wata warogi the wise men were that time are the modern days uh, diviners and witches bana yesu apa utukufu number 1 when you are dealing with the witches hide yourself in the wings of the spirit where you cannot be located no monitoring spirit can get you the bible says our lives are hidden with Christ in god therefore no devil ikona uwezo wa kuguza bana yesu apa utukufu Number 2 never be too demon conscious be Christ conscious hmm? Ukisikia hapa nyeri tumeweka posters za kufunza demonology hey, hey. wale watu unaweza waona katika hii room wengine hata wanasimama kwa sababu wanapenda hizo mambo shetani Vile anakuaga alafu unachora hiki kishetani venye kiko na mkuki hivi wakikuja hapa wanakuja bio bio sababu waliona shetani na mkuki hmm? na hivyo ndivyo watu wanapenda and that has been mutego wa adui so that we give the devil so much time than the one you give to Christ wapendwa we must be Christ centered hallelujah and conscious taka kusikia juu ya Kristo taka kusikia vile anafanya kazi taka kusikia vile aliponya you know like today nilipigiwa simu na mama ambaye alikuja hapa on behalf of mwingine akapewa kadi ya kuchangisha because mtu mtoto mwenye anachangishiwa 
ako Kenyatta alikuwa anahitaji 500,000 maana Yesu hapa utukufu and she came akaniambia vile ameubiria huyo mama na akaokoka and this is the problem that she has nikamwambia leta hiyo kadi wacha tuombe tukakumbusha Mungu you are the Lord God who is working behind the scenes now prove this so that your people may know that you are working behind the scene and she was telling me akiwa amefurahi sana ya kwamba the very same day huyo mama alipigiwa simu akapewa waiver akaambiwa alipe one 100,000 na mtoto akawa discharged that day wapendwa there is a god who is working behind the scene unaweza kosa kumuona saa hii but that does not mean his silence is absence of work the lord our god is still at work Hallelujah. Never be demon conscious. Hmm? Ati una hii paintings watu wanapenda kusikia. Ni nani alisema kwanza shetani ni muafrika? Eh? Yesu anachorwa akiwa mweupe, shetani anachorwa akiwa muafrika. Unachorewa kipicha kia goma. Hata wakati mchezo zile tukiwa wadogo, si nilikuwa ninaona uh, shetani ni ki, ki muafrika kime kimepakwa hata ile biro ya ya, ya sufuria eh? na kina ndio <laughs> sasa muone yenyewe hii ni rusifa bwana yesu hapa utukufu we should not be you know tusiwe watu wa concentrate sana na shetani there is nothing he can do by the way rusifa aliteremshwa chini eh? na rusifa hajui hata kuongea na lugha haelewi lugha kwa sababu ruga ikiachiliwa already alikuwa ameangushwa chini. And that's why the Bible says pray in the Holy Ghost that you may enter into your most holy faith. Bwana Yesu ape utukufu. Hallelujah. Hmm? We should know that God has never lost any battle. Hmm? Hmm? The devil uses fear to conquer, but God has never lost any battle. Another thing live a holy life because righteousness gives us victory over many wars kuna vita zingine hata uhitaji kusema riba riba ukisimamisha utakatifu mbele za Mungu shetani hawezi akakupata haleluya lakini siku hizi tunaambiwa once saved forever saved hakuna blessed be the name of the lord hakuna kitu kama hiyo Asubuhi work out your salvation with fear and trembling. Saa nne the same. Saa sita, saa hii jioni. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And live a holy life. Number what? Hmm? To call number what? Number four, be faithful with your altar. Hmm? The altar you service is the altar that you will fight for you. Hmm? Sasa zingine ninaonana watu wameandika speak a word. Hmm? Na huyo ukiambiwa uki speak a word uh, mtu kama huyo hajakuwa kwa the altar for several months. Will the altar be in a position to speak on behalf of that person? Bwana Yesu hapo utukufu. Hallelujah. We should be faithful to the altars that the Lord has <coughs> entrusted us. There are few things that you should know that control right? Prayer, worship, praise and sacrifice. Then you should know it is not by power but by the spirit of the living god he is the one who fights the battle for us huh? the horse is prepared in the day of battle but victory comes from the lord you must also understand the power that is in the blood of jesus you must visualize 
the finished work of Calvary to work for you. Ana Yesu apel tukufu. Therefore you should be a very strong person. When you know God, Daniel akasema, they that know their God are strong and shall do exploits. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And lastly, never stay quiet. Huh? Declare the scripture as the word of the Lord is our sword. Huh? Declare the scripture kabisa. Hmm? Tell the Lord, I know huh? you have never forsaken any righteous. I know wewe ni mungu ambayo una, you know, tupatia nguvu kwa uwezo wako tunavuka kuta. Bwana Yesu apewe utukufu. When you speak the word, the word has power in your life. Bwana Yesu apewe utukufu. Tuliza tusimame kwa miguu yetu ili tukaweze kuomba kwa dakika mbili alafu tumalize. I want you to focus your eyes unto the Lord. Speak the word. Hmm? Don't underestimate the word. The word has power. Blessed be the name of the Lord. The word is the sword. It is by the word. This word is the way it is. Because it is a word that was spoken and creation took place. Blessed be the name of the Lord. God has called you and has created you as a small God. You can create things. You can speak a word in your life, in somebody's life, na mambo ya na change. Kama vile alivyo fanya kazi behind, and you know, the scenes, kwa sababu ya Mordecai, na kwa sababu ya, ya, ya Esther, he is in a position to do it for you. When you focus and when you decree and declare the word, because the word of God is exalted high above his name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Open up your mouth and start now declaring the promises of God over your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Masaka Yatoro Musika, Korosia Mahande Rebekederibo. Rosia Bakaya, Mares Karesh Nakura, Ororobo Shende de Keterira, Sharinari Nakoterina Rarama, Shanderebose Keborina. My life is hidden with Christ in God. Therefore, no enemy, therefore, no devil can get me where I am. I am hidden. Sheta Kasira Vigando. Takira zori na kura, poro zori re re bo se kere re bo zani. Pira la 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 ba sa ta ba gana ri azeria. Speak, 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 speak. Nena, 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 nena. Shita kasoli kida ri ba kura. Ima sa ta ba gana ri azekere re bo ina. Shete re 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 bo zanda ra ba gana. Ma esere be kida ri azeria. Oh God. You help with the many, and you can help with them that have no power. Lord, do not let any man prevail you over me in the mighty name of Jesus. They come as a takasona bagada rapuria. The heart is prepared in the name of battle, but you are the one who gives us victory. Release your victory upon us, O God, just as you did to Mordecai. He that was to be hanged was honored past the grave. You are a God who turns the table. You are a God who turns the tables. Bwana sadaka zetu katika jina la Yesu Kristo na bwana tutubariki. Heshima na utukufu na sifa ni zako Mungu wetu. Heshima na utukufu na sifa ni zako na sifa ni zako na sifa ni zako na sifa ni zako na sifa
moja na nusu tutakuwa mahali hapa we are officially starting our bible study today na tutasoma biblia kwa undani tutachimbua biblia tutaweza kuelewa what was happening the background ya kitabu kile ambacho tutaanza nacho that way na ndivyo tutakuwa tunaendelea na ninajua Mungu wetu atatubariki every Wednesday let's invite as many people to come so that now we can start the road to the Bible hallelujah from Genesis to Revelation tunaweza kosa kufuatanisha lakini tutakuwa tunachukua uh, Biblia tunachukua kitabu tunakichambua tunaelewa and we are grounded well in the word na Bwana atatubariki now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit with us now forevermore amen yes she